What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. You know winter's here when you start layering up in the middle of the day. But you know, in New Zealand specifically, it's beautifully blue, clear. But I'll tell you what, it's cold as shit. To warm me up, I thought today I'll make a recipe, I'll make a video, and you guys can just kick back, relax, and see what I get up to. Today we're gonna be making scrolls. It's a type of bread. It's usually sweet, so you can think of like cinnamon scrolls, but I'm gonna be making a savory version. I've already got dinner set up. I don't wanna be doing what I need to be doing, because I wanna move around, make some recipes. We're gonna do some baking today, starting with two cups of milk. Chuck this in the microwave, we need to get it warm. We need to make sure the milk's just at the right temperature, so when you dip your finger in, it's not cold and it's not hot. Like, it's just body temperature, like lukewarm. A tablespoon of yeast. And we're going to go a tablespoon of sugar. Give it a mix around, make sure everything's dissolved. And you already know we've done a few enriched doughs on this page. And we just need to let it actually do its thing for 5, give it 10 minutes. It's going to take a little bit, yeah I know you want to get into it, into it. But sometimes it's better to just let it do its thing. And then that 5 to 10 minutes will save you an hour plus. Put it down. Leave it alone, come back in 10 minutes. While we're waiting for the yeast to bloom, I'm gonna get on with the dry ingredients, which is just real super simple. It's five cups of flour, and I'm using a high protein content flour. So for all my sourdoughs, any breads that I make, I use my high protein baker's flour. So if you have high protein flour in your house, if you wanna try this recipe, I'd recommend that. A little bit of salt, I'll say like a tablespoon of salt. And we're going to go in with 115 grams of butter. I know it sounds like a lot, but we're going to be making a lot. We're making a lot. What's that? 100, oh, no way! 115 on the dot. When you've been doing this for a while like me, you become a professional. And just like the Jamaican patty recipe or any other recipes that I make on my page, we're going to be rubbing the butter into the flour. And again, guys, why do we do this? Why do we do this extra step, man? Oh, I don't want to do it. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Melt the butter, chuck it in with the wet ingredients while when the yeast is proofed. But when you rub the butter into the flour, what you're doing is creating texture. Your scrolls will be way better than Sally's scrolls because of this step right here. My butter, it's not super cold. It's slightly room temp. And you can see the texture of the flour. It's quite sandy. When you squeeze it together, it should slightly form. You can see that froth on my yeast. All of that into the flour slowly. And then half on the other. Now we're just going to let this mix do its thing, give it 10 15 minutes. Time has just gone off. See how smooth it is? It's from a stand mixer, baby. And look how elastic the dough Oh, it just wants to keep going until it rips. Make sure everything's mixed well. No dry bits, you know, sometimes you get the crusty bits. We got the bowl, we got the dough, a little bit of oil. And we're just going to go in, grease the bowl. It doesn't have to be extreme. No, actually, please don't make it extreme. It's just lightly greasing it, so when it goes for the bolt rest, it will come out nice and easy. For this guy, I like to roll him into a ball. Once the top's smooth like that, Flip them upside down. So the top side is on the bottom and the bottom side is sticking up. Get a slightly damp tea towel and we're just covering it, chucking it to the side. We're going to go in with some butter. That amount. And this is the star. This is Vegemite. Vegemite is a masterpiece. Everyone in New Zealand and Australia will have grown up with their version of the mite, one way or another. New Zealand and Australia are so close to each other, so we have both. These other ones you can get as well, but the only ones that have the clout are Vegemite and Marmite. And in my opinion, Vegemite is the better of the two. If you're new to spreads and stuff like, look, that's how much I love it. There's absolutely nothing left. If you're new to yeast-based spreads, so what these are, these are a seasoning for the butter. This is crack in a jar. It enhances the flavor of your butter. If you're having um, something that is like a mite, or trying to be marketed as a mite, and it doesn't enhance the butter, it's not a mite, bro. Some Vegemite, it's like half a tablespoon. We've got to get crack into the new one. 
There we go. Yeah, look at that. I will always have a re-up of this massive jar of Vegemite. No playing around, this is how much we need. And this is what we're gonna be filling the scroll with. If you like less, add less. If you like more, like myself, add more. There's a lot of iterations of the Vegemite scroll. Like, you'll probably just see plain Vegemite getting filled. You know, you can add cheese or whatever fillings that you like to customize in. I like to go a little bit more butter. So the dough is super buttery, as well as the filling will be buttery as well. I've got some chopped up garlic. Gonna add that in too. It's a garlic butter Vegemite scroll. The key is, when you're playing around with super potent ingredients, one, to get the balance, and you don't wanna go too far in that spectrum. Garlic super potent, Vegemite super potent. Add just a little bit so you can taste it, it's there, and it elevates what Vegemite is about. You know, that hardcore savory, and then the garlic brings that astringency and fragrance from being garlic. And it's different to using like a garlic powder or anything like that. It'll thicken the spread up a little bit too much, but bro, we're adding this with cheese. There's lots of butter. You'll be fine. Like after an hour, you can see super puffy. And what we need to do is smash the air out. It's uh, bottom side up. So flip this guy on the bottom. Upside down. Light dusting of flour on the rolling pin, and we're gonna roll this into a rectangle. So I've rolled all my dough out to this thick, I would say it's roughly a quarter of an inch. Just shaping it a little bit more rectangle. Now we're gonna go in with our Vegemite mixture. And we're spreading it all over. Okay, everything you can see here, it's spread out nice and thin. A decent amount of coverage, but remember, this is Vegemite and butter. If you're just doing pure Vegemite, you're in for a rough time. I'm using a classic New Zealand cheese, it's called Colby. It's super smooth, mellow. It's a very young cheese, and it's easy to melt. Just go hard with the cheese, and we want to go all over. Get to the edges. And this is gonna melt, this is gonna make it delicious. You can see there's not too much on top. Now we're just gonna roll. You wanna keep it quite tight. The best way to go about it is to just do it. Don't overthink it too much. Because no matter what, it will come out okay. Once we come to the end, we just wanna to pinch to close. Any scrolls that you guys are making, the key to get clean cuts is to use floss. If you don't have floss or can't be bothered, use a knife, that's all good. Before I cut, I will just go and gauge how thick I want each roll to be. And I'll say if each roll is two fingers thick, that's a pretty mean portion. And I think if we've ended on an even number, we've done it right. So we got two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Let's go underneath onto the line that you've cut and squeeze it. And we'll have, that's the end one. That's the end one, they don't count. I'll do it again. Go on the line, give it a cut. And we have clean cut. Before they go in the tray, I like to just grease up the bottom of a dish and this helps get a nice crispy bottom. Ooh, that looks beautiful. I've got just the lonesome, a little lonely, but that's all right, I've got a mini cast iron. Try that in, and this is gonna be the test bake. We won't waste them. This guy's going in the oven. I'm baking 180 Celsius, and we'll put them in for 15 minutes. And in the meantime, while we got all our scrolls, just chuck that damn tea towel back over the top for another 20 minutes. 
Tester just came out, cooked it for 20 minutes. You can see this is no egg wash. It came out pretty freaking good. All right, it's been a better part of half an hour. Let's reveal what we're working with. Oh my God, look at this. They are all so beautiful, puffy, taking shape quite nicely. I've got some egg wash, just egg and a little bit of milk. And we're going all over the top. It's gonna give us a nice brown color, golden crust. Offer a little bit of caramelization to the dough while it's baking away. If you're making scrolls or anything like that at home, you would want them to touch. And that's just so when they bake, they don't collapse. They'll keep their shape and then they'll come nice and high. Look at that. We're going in the oven 180 Celsius for 20 minutes. You can see that egg wash browns it up real nice. Get that nice cheese. Brown, delicious, savory bombs. Drop in the comments if you're a middle person or a corner person. Because I'm definitely a corner person. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I'm ready for this. My fingers are actually dying. Open it up. Oh, I hope you guys see all of that steam coming out. Look at the inside. Nah, that's insane. Alright, taste this. My mouth is fully wet. Mm. If you love savory, you need a Vegemite. You just need to keep eating Vegemite. Vegemite is a savory lover's dream. In bread with cheese, nah, you're next level. The cheese combination, perfect. And you know what? The Vegemite doesn't only elevate the butter, it elevates the cheese too. Like, and that Colby cheese, hints of sweet. And the best part about it, my favorite part, is the bread. Light, airy, fluffy. Unravel the scroll of truth. It has the world secrets. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. I absolutely love it. It's so savory. I'm like a 99% savory person, 1% sweet. So, a baked savory item, hard. This goes hard. I'm eating a little bit too fast. I want to show you guys. Mmm. Have a look at that bread structure. Wow. Guys, feel free to customize your whatever you want to put inside as well. If you want to put onion, ham, do it. Make sure you got a lot of Vegemite, make sure you got a lot of butter, and you'll be in heaven like I am right now. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I've got about 14 more of these scrolls to get through, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe share around to your friends if you're from new zealand let me know in the comments if you're from australia let me know in the comments too we run the mic game baby and i'll catch all of you guys on the next one